So I'm Akitomo Motoi, the president of Toei Shin Co Limited. So this is my picture. I took this photo last year in Brazil. So this huge mushroom is the Agalix Brazi, our King Agalix K21 strain. So today I'm going to introduce about the evidence of King Agalix K21 using this slide. So here is today's topics. First, I'm going to introduce about the medicinal mushroom, Agalix blase, or Agalix blaseensis. And the next, our king, uh, I introduce about our own King Agalix K21, the name of this mushroom. And the third point is uh, evidence of K21, mainly how to improve the immunity and the evidence about the antifungal infection and wood repair and hair growth. And the last part, um, I I'm going to introduce about the recent research and the summary. So first, let's move to what is the Agalix blase. So Agalix blase, blase is a medicinal mushroom originally grown in Brazil. Agal uh, academic name is Agalix blase or Agalix blase murio. And these two academic names is used to use. But these days at the academic conference, many people use Agalix brasiliensis or Agalix subrufescens as academic name. And this mushroom is known as mushroom of the sun because this mushroom has strong vitality and survived under the sunshine. Also, the name, uh, this mushroom is known as mushroom of God in Brazil. And the main component is beta glucan. 1, 3, and 1, 6. And it contains rich minerals, iron, potassium, zinc, copper, and magnesium like this. And also contains rich vitamins, vitamin B1, B2, B6, and the others. And agalix is uh, most popular in the booster in Japan. According to Japanese survey, survey on cancer patient, 26% uh, cancer patients took the agalix as immune booster in Japan. At that time, agalix is uh, sold well, so the percentage is really high. And also, cancer patients who took immune booster, they selected agalix more than 60%. And but uh, the Japanese government uh, has, a, uh, according to Japanese government, Agalix Brazi, these components and efficacy and safety are quite different among strain, cultivation method, and processing, and origin, and the part of mushroom. We see this picture. There are two mushrooms, but uh, actually these are also same, both of them are agalix. Same strain, K21. Origin is also same from Brazil. Just the difference is cultivation method. On left side is outdoor, on right side is indoor cultivation. So if the cultivation method is different, that, uh, that appearance is totally different, like these pictures. From here, I'm going to introduce about the cultivation method and origin. At present, nobody cannot harvest the natural agalix in the nature. The very similar to nature agalix is outdoor cult cultivated agalix. So outdoor cultivated, cultivated agalix contains rich minerals and rich vitamins and a strong effect. So many agalix company try to do cultivate outdoor, but uh, it costs a lot and very difficult to harvest. So these days, main, uh, not main, uh, normal cultivation method is indoor greenhouse. Uh, indoor cultivation method is uh, used in Brazil and Japan and China and the USA and et cetera. Only we, Toei Shinyak, have some knowledge. Uh, in, uh, to cultivate outdoor, we need three elements. One is, um, wide nature environment in Brazil. And second one is special compost for outdoor cultivation. And also we need strong strain K821 for outdoor cultivation method. We, need, uh, we have uh, 
these three points we have, uh, we toy sync have these three points, we can, we only can use outdoor cultivation in Brazil. And please see the right side. This is tank culture. What is a tank culture? I'm going to introduce about this. So um, before uh, explanation about uh, uh, tank culture, I need to explanation, I need to explain about the part of mushroom. Usually the mushroom is divided into two parts. One is food body. Usually we have, we eat food body. But the other part is mycelium. It is a root of mushroom. So tank culture is uh, culture the mycelium in the tank. The tank culture is used to do in Japan, but there is not so many academic evidence, including safety and efficacy. These say just few company use the tank culture. So main, uh, main cultivation method is outdoor and indoor. So I'm going to introduce about the difference uh, between the outdoor and uh, indoor. The first I'm going to how to cultivate indoor. Many people listen the name of indoor or greenhouse. Many people imagine this kind of picture, but actually the Indoor cultivation in, of the agarics is in the this dark area to avoid the sunshine in the artificial uh, environment. So originally, agarics is named as uh, mushroom of sun. They are uh, they are glow in the nature in under the sunshine. But in greenhouse cultivation method, we, they avoid the sunshine. So the mushroom grow very small and the component is very low. On the other hand, outdoor cultivation method. So you can see the field. So a galix is uh, to move the grass on the field, a galix is grown like this. So the a galix, uh, out, outdoor a galix is uh, grow from directly from the land. Here's the environment of outdoor cultivation. The picture in the the picture in the Brazil. I took that picture. So there is no artificial uh, facilities, including the factory. The air is clean, and water uh, and land is clean. So we cultivate in this uh, wide nature, uh, and we also cultivate without any pesticide. Them. So outdoor, uh, so far I introduced about uh, outdoor cultivation method and the outdoor agalix is like this size, as I mentioned, and the size is very big, like this picture. One each size of mushroom is almost same as my face and very huge. And the difference is not only in the appearance. Also, there is a uh, Big difference between the uh, big difference in the components. Left side is beta glucan, the main component of agalix. The, uh, this color is king agalix, outdoor cultivation one. And the right side is the other agalix, greenhouse one. So the component of beta glucan is totally different, 1.5 uh, times more than uh, greenhouse one. Also, uh, outdoor agalix is cultivated outside under the sunshine, so it contains rich vitamin D comparing with the greenhouse cultivated indoor. Also, here is a comparison of uh, nutrition. At the, in Brazil, uh, there is a red round, it contains a uh, rich mineral, including iron and copper. And we just cultivated just one time. We, uh, to make uh, to make good agalics uh, contains rich mineral and vitamins, we cultivated uh, we harvest just one time. We all time cultivate new land. So the difference is here. Uh, the green one is greenhouse Japanese one, and the brown one is king agalics outdoor cultivation in Brazil. And rich uh, outdoor king agalics contains rich calcium iron and selenium, vitamin D, B1, and copper. Also, there is a big difference on the effect. 
And this comparison is about uh, antioxidative activities. The left side is King Agalix outdoor in Brazil. And the mid middle one, uh, center one is out, uh, a King Agalix indoor cultivation, cult cultivated one. And the right side, the Japanese indoor one. So comparing with Japanese indoor, the activity at uh, the antioxidative activity of King Agalix is five times more than, uh, stronger than the, uh, this kind of uh, Japanese indoor agalix. So far, I introduced about the difference between the cultivation method and origin. So our King agalix is out, uh, cultivated outdoor in Brazil. So the appearance and the nutrition is totally different uh, comparing with the indoor. So we named this agalix King agalix and also we use the strain is KA21. So let's move to the next topic. What is the King Agalix KA21? So KA21 is Vitoe Shinex own strain name of Agalix Brasiliensis. This KA21 strain can be used for outdoor cultivations thanks to its strong vitalities. And this K21, uh, this strain is registered at International Patent Organism Depository in Japan as King Agalix 21. So shortly we call KA21. And we have published many papers as Agalix Brasiliensis KA21. Also registers at uh, trademark in EU. Here is a uh, register at the International Patent Organism Deposit Depository as King Agalis 21, so shortly we call KA21. Here is the academic papers. The upper side is uh, improved immunity, related to improved immunity. So we published as Agalis Brasiliensis KA21. On the, also the bottom side is, uh, bottom is uh, antifungal infection also published as Agalix Brasiliensis K21. Also K21 our trade, uh, is also uh, registered at, as trademark in U Europe, like this. So let's move to evidence of K21. First, uh, there are many research papers related to Agalix, and we, Toei Shinyak, have published 32 papers on Agalix Blase as number one Agalix research company in Japan. Here is the other companies. We published 32 as number one Agalix research company. According to our study, <coughs> first we, I want to introduce about the safety data. We do the test, mice test about uh, mutagenicity and genotoxicity, and we confirm the safety of the test. Also, we did the uh, human trial. Please wait a moment. <coughs> we did many human trials. So um, about the safety data. One is normal dosage, 1.5 gram a day uh, for three months and six months. We confirm this normal uh, we confirm the safety by this uh, normal dosage. Also, we do the overdose, overdose test. Nine gram a day in human, six times more than normal dosage for six months. Then we, uh, we have no, uh, ad no side effect has been reported. After we confirm the safety of the uh, uh, Galax K21, so, we did, uh, we check, we started to check the efficacy of King Agalix KA21. <clears throat> These are the evidence about uh, our KA21. So first we had started the research uh, about the improved immunity, but after that we, uh, we confirmed many effects of like this, antifungal infection, reduce the side effect of chemotherapy, protect the heart and liver, diabetes, also improve the far condition, 
and live longer. So today, I want to introduce about uh, we, I want to focus on improving immunity, including antifungal infection, and reduce the side effects of anti-cancer drugs. Also, quick recovery after injury and surgery. Is it OK? Uh, sorry, yes, yes, everything's fine. Sorry. OK, <laughs> I see. OK, so first, I'm going to introduce about the, improve, about the evidence of improving the immunity. So how does agalix improve the immunity? So I want to introduce about the mechanism of, of the improved immunity uh, using the slides supervised by Naohito Ono, professor of the Tokyo University of Pharmacy and Life Sciences. First, uh, agalix, uh, mushroom, including agalix, is vegetable? Of course, no, it's fungi. So, this picture is on the left side is agalic bloody and the right side is mold candida. The appearance is totally different, but the mycelium, the root of agalic, this picture is uh, very similar to the mold and agalic, uh, mycelium of agalic. And the uh, beta glucan is main, uh, the component of the cell walls of fungi. Left side is the type of agalic. 1,3 beta glucan and 1.6 beta glucan, like, the, uh, like this uh, model. And the, the center is the uh, Spalacis crisper, the other type of mushroom. It is it contains 1.3 and short 1.6. So when the type of mushroom changes, also the type of beta glucan is changed. But the please see the right side. This is a candida albicans, a beta glucan of candida albicans. Candida is a pathogen called the mouth candida, like this, uh, like mouth candida. Uh, please see the agalics and candida. The appearance of beta glucan is very similar. This similarity is very important to improve immunity. So, what happens after we take beta glucan? So other components like uh, nutrition, um, uh, vitamin D, vitamin and minerals uh, are absorbed at the intestine, but beta glucan is not absorbed in intestine and go directly to the intestine. And in the intestine, many in, uh, immune cell is ready to fight with uh, against the pathogen in pathogen in the intestine. So when immune, immune cells find beta-glucan in intestine, as I mentioned, the type of beta-glucan between agalix and candida are very similar. So immune cell, when the immune cell catch beta-glucan of agalix, they consider pathogen uh, invaded. And then to protect against to the pathogen, the immune cells switch on the, against the pathogen to start to fight. The first, uh, innate immunity are activated, including natural killer cell activity. Uh, it's related to improve immunity and related, also related to anti-cancer or prevention infection, prevent the infection. Very, very important to the anti-cancer and in, prevent infection. The later, acquired immunity is also are also stimulated, and the product uh, and anti beta glucan antibody are product productive. And this uh, anti beta glucan is react to the agalix. Also, reaction both agalix and beta glucan of pathogenic fungi. According to this mechanism, uh, agalix has uh, antifungal. Uh, agalix is very useful for antifungal infection supplement. So beta-glucan, the main mechanism of uh, immu uh, stimulated immunity, the beta-glucan is not absorbed. Beta-glucan stimulate immune cells in intestines. And it's, uh, uh, this is more academic uh, data, uh, academic last. To the right side, there's a den 
dendritic cells. It has uh, the dendritic cell. There is a dictin one. This is a name of the re re receptor. Uh, dictin one is binding to beta 1.3 glucan. And after uh, them, they stimulate, uh, they get the signal and, and release the interleukin 6, 12, TNF alpha, and interferon gamma to stimulate the immune cell. So here is the uh, human trial uh, related to the natural killer cell activities. The left side is agarics group, the right side is the placebo group. And uh, human this data is uh, about the human volunteers. They took three gram a day for just one week. The left side is agarics group, and it shows uh, natural killer cell activities. After taking three gram a week, the natural killer cell activity is improved like this. And there is a statistically difference. But the right side is placebo, there is no statistically difference. And next slide is about the anti cancer effects. It shows a tumor weight. And we put the mice, uh, we use the Zalcoma mice. Uh, we, uh, we put the mice per all uh, the component of agalix plus a um, uh, cold water extract and hot water extract. We confirmed the effect of anti tumor effects on Zarcoma 180. But uh, as you know, Zarcoma is not a naturally occurred tumor. Zarcoma is a, a transplanted cancer. So the evidence is not so strong about the anti cancer, anti tumor effects. And here I want to introduce about one uh, case study about the tumor in the dog. Its efficacy to the tumor, the, the dog is Shiba Inu, a dog. So before taking agalix, uh, uh, this dog is 15 kilogram, nine years old, suffered from malignant lymphoma. Before it's this picture, there is a tumor on the face. So, the dog is supposed to take a surgery on the face, but before that, the owner uh, wanted to try to take in king agalics for their pets. So before the surgery, they start to take 900 milligram a day of king agalics K21 for three weeks. And here is on the after picture, the tumor has disappeared and the dog doesn't, didn't need to take any surgery. And here it's also the same dog. So after one year after the, this picture, uh, uh, after one, month, one year, the, dog, uh, the same dog also get the liver cancer. The above dog had high value in liver function, like here. And the, the owner tried to various drugs for better liver function, but none of them improved their dog's liver. In the morning on 22nd September, the dog's stomach suddenly swelled, swelled like this. Then going to doctors and get the medical check, the, the dog is, uh, uh, the tumor marker is examined. Here, tumor marker is eight, 800, 880. So after, there is the number of the examination numbers. On the left side is uh, before taking agalics. ALP, ALT, ALT is very high. And from September 22nd, they, uh, the dog started to take agalics, 10 tablets a day. And like this, the ALP is getting better in after the three months. Also ALT, and uh, AFP is getting better. Here is a real picture uh, document of e examination result. So before taking agalix, ALP is very high. After three months, ALP is getting better. Also AFP before taking eight, 880. And after three months, 
AFP is reduced to 80 to 88. <clears throat> um, appearance is here. Upper side is before taking agarics. The, the liver is swollen. And after taking three months, uh, the shape is uh, get uh, become normal. Here's a change to before and after of the examination test. From here, I'm going to introduce about the uh, antifungal infection of King Agalix. Uh, both of them, uh, I want to introduce two human trials. Left side is uh, three gram a day per hour for three months. And check the inc uh, increase in anti-beta glucan uh, subtypes, IgZ, IgM, IgA. And IG IgA is statistically increased uh, after taking three months, three gram a day. According to this data, uh, uh, IgA is very uh, related to the immunity. So it's very, uh, especially for, um, okay, move forward. Okay, the right side, right side is, um, left side is three gram a day. And right side is 900 milligram a day. So we try to check if we reduce the dosage, whether it works or not. The result is here. So just 900 milligram a day, uh, and here is six weeks and 12 weeks, uh, we confirm the statistical improvement of the anti-beta glucan. Uh, yeah, the, the number of anti-beta glucan. And for here, from here, I want to introduce about the clinical trial, antifungal infection on dogs and cats. I, this is a midterm data. And the method is internet clinical trial service. Uh, we use, uh, we get this data this year. And subject is uh, dogs and cats infected with fungal infection, malacetia or dermatophytosis. The number is total is 97, and but in at this moment, uh, I want to I just introduced 56, and the body weight is from five to six kilogram without taking without taking steroid, any steroid, per oral, and, and dosage is 300 milligram of K21 beta glucan, one tablet a day, and period is one month. Evaluation item is satisfaction of veterinary doctors and also general health, like activity, food consumption, using 10 levels, uh, um, digital analog scale, and symptoms, each redness and dandruff and oily skin and follows. Also use the digital analog scale, 10 levels. The result is here. Here's uh, all fungal infection. The number is 50, uh, 56. The satisfaction of the vet veterinary doctor, here is very satisfied. 13 is very satisfied. Satisfied is 33. So more than satisfied is 82.1%. So we get uh, very good feedback from the vet doctors. And here is uh, general health. The uh, the number is small, it's, uh, it shows better. The number is bigger, it shows worse. And then shows, here's activity and food consumption. So one, from one to four is uh, very good, normal and bad and very bad. And statistically different, there is a big uh, statistical different um, activity and also food consumption as general health. Oh, 37 is dogs and 19 is cats. Then uh, let's move to each uh, disease. The first, uh, here is uh, malacetia dermat dermatitis. The number is uh, 20, 14 dogs and six cats. The more than satisfied is 85%. Uh, here's also, uh, the, the vet doctors also give us, gave us good uh, feedbacks. The number is here, 
from one to three is no symptoms or mild. Four to six is moderate and seven to 10 is severe. So small number is better. So it shows the symptom of marsupial dermatitis, each redness, dandruff, oily skin, and fat loss. Uh, all symptoms, uh, we can see the improvement, uh, statistically improvement. Uh, here's the, each case. Um, this is uh, Shizu, a female dog of three years with uh, contraception. Weight is 9.55 kilograms. Supplement taking K21 and Antinol. Uh, this dog took one tablet of K21 per day for one month. Before its left side and after its right side. Yeah, after one month. Then uh, veterinary doctors, veterinarian is satisfied it, like itching was uh, uh, sufficiently suppressed. And each symptoms, including itchy, redness, scales, are improving like this. Uh, for scales, it's uh, nine to three. Now let's go to malassezia external otitis. Uh, the otitis on the ear. And satisfaction of vet doctors is here. More than satisfied is 81.8%. Very good, uh, good point. And um, each symptom is here. Each redness, earwax, smell, and follows. All of these symptoms are uh, improved statistically. This is the case. This is American car, a cat of one year old. Weight is two, two kilograms. No supplement was taken before and after. Uh, only a galaxy is taken. So half size tablet daily taken and drug was also injected. Ingested. So before on the, the picture of the year, before and after. So veterinary, a uh, vet doctor was very satisfied. Outer ear environment, yeah, become clearly better and less itching. Activity, appetite, itchy is eight degrees from eight to four. Redness is also eight to three. There's a big, uh, in, uh, huge improvement of the symptoms. Uh, next is uh, dermatophytosis. There is uh, two dogs and 12 cats. Uh, satisfaction of vet doctors, more than satisfies 78.5%. And a sim a symptoms here, each redness, a dandruff, and phallus. Uh, all of symptoms are improvement. See, we can see the improvement. And the statistic, uh, each and redness and phallus, there's a uh, improve, uh, imp there uh, is an improvement we can see the improvement of these symptoms as statistically. So each case is here, dermat uh, dermatophytosis and malassezia otitis externa. Uh, here's a hybrid female dog of six months. Weight is three kilograms, one tablet per day. So no combination drug and supplement. Before taking K21 and after taking one month. So vet doctors say a dog's preference was very good. Otitis ectana was improved. The owner was satisfied. Uh, there's a big improvement, uh, uh, especially the itchy from seven to three. Also the redness from six to two. So, so far I introduced about uh, uh, improved immunity and antifungal infection. So let's move to reduce the side effect of uh, chemotherapy. So uh, I want, uh, I'm going to use the slide that I used International Medicinal Mushroom Conference, TENS. So the background of this data, uh, we, we have the old data, bone marrow suppression leukopenia caused by cyclophosphamide. 
So when ant cancer drug is admi administrated to the mice, the white blood cell is decreased like this. But after taking a, uh, but after after that, uh, the number of white blood cells is increased in the group which take agarics. So it is possible to Im improve the side effect of anti cancer drugs. But this data is old, so we did a new data. So the subject of 5FU, it, it's a kind of outpatient chemotherapy drug model. We selected this uh, 5FU as outpatient chemotherapy model, in human especially. And this is a, a model of a test model. So uh, we, uh, we gave the mice uh, four types of uh, food, uh, not uh, water and control without any agarics, 5-FU and control, 5-FU and outdoor agarics, 5-FU and indoor agarics. And we checked, uh, we gave the mice five days 5-FU per oral. Then we checked several point and appearance and other white blood cell and other points. The result is here. First, uh, here is a mortality risk. So without any agaric glue, uh, here is uh, the control group just taking 5-FU. The survival rate is just 30%. But uh, the mice group who took agarics indoor, uh, outdoor, and indoor keep a 70% of survival rate. And next is a uh, far condition after taking 19 days. Left side is control and in indoor is center and right side is outdoor. As you can see the far condition uh, outdoor is uh, better than indoor and control. And next is the protective effect on the digestive tract. When the digestive tract get uh, damaged by anti-cancer uh, anti drug, the length of uh, digestive tract is shorter. So we select the uh, uh, we uh, we select the length of uh, digestive tract as the index of the damage of um, digestive tract uh, caused by anti-cancer drug. So here is control, indoor and outdoor. So the results here, outdoor group on, of the length of intestine keep longer than indoor and control group. Also the length of the colon, outdoor keeps longer than indoor and control. And uh, it is uh, incidence of diarrhea. The control group is more than 90% they get the diarrhea, but outdoor group, uh, the incidence of diarrhea is about 30%. And here's appetite recovery, uh, the food consumption after uh, four, four days. Uh, comparing with the control and indoor group, they, take a, uh, they took more food than these groups. And here is a uh, body weight loss. Uh, here, the C, uh, here is the body weight. Here is a healthy control. And a galaxy group is here. Outdoor group is the black one. During the chemotherapy, the, the body weight is uh, reduced. But uh, according to, uh, thanks to the protect, uh, protective effect on digestive tract, so they can have, have the food more, so they recover quickly than the other groups. And here's kid kidney damage. King Akalisuke 21, outdoor group, uh, the kidney damage is smaller than control and indoor group. Almost same as healthy control. And here is the recovery from leukopenia. Here, um, we show, here is the white blood cell count. So during the chemotherapy, all the group, uh, the number of white blood cell is decreased. It shows uh, 
supplementation of Kinga garlics do not inhibit the uh, effect of chemotherapy. It works, uh, anti-cancer drug is works. And after that, uh, Kinga garlics uh, recover quickly. So if uh, the number of white blood cells do not uh, recover quickly, they cannot do next step of uh, anti-cancer drug a protocol. So to keep the anti-cancer drug therapy, the uh, recover from the leukopenia is very important to keep the therapy, chemotherapy. And here is also the side effect model. And this shows the hair loss uh, model, hair loss caused by anti-cancer drug model. Uh, the food is same, but just we shave the body on the mice for the first day after uh, taking the 5-FU and check the, how the number of recovery of the hair. Result is here. Upper side is control without any agarics. Center middle is an indoor group and bottom is uh, outdoor group. So outdoor group uh, can see the, uh, person, uh, the higher percentage than the other group. So it shows once uh, people, uh, people also the dogs uh, lost the hair or fur, uh, if, if they take the king agarix, it recover quickly after chemotherapy. So hair loss and weight loss is a very big uh, issue for the pet owner to keep the chemotherapy. So many uh, pet owner show their dogs, uh, their hair loss and the weight loss, they wanted to stop the chemotherapy. So continue the chemotherapy, the prevention for the hair loss and weight loss is very important to keep the chemotherapy. Here's the conclusion. Outdoor, outdoor uh, control and indoor and outdoor group. Outdoor group has a strong uh, protection uh, strong effect to anti-cancer drug, including leukopenia, appetite recovery, body weight, kidney damage, aplastic digestive tract, and hair loss recovery. So what is the difference between the indoor and outdoor? We think it's related to antioxidant, antioxidative activities. Here is uh, agarics outdoor, and the second one is agarics indoor is Japanese indoor and the other mushrooms. There, there, there is, uh, at that test, we use the outdoor and indoor. So the difference between the antioxidative activity is uh, related to the results of, uh, result of uh, the effect of reduced side effects of chemotherapy. So, uh, King Agalex, uh, outdoor King Agalex is already now, uh, already has the evidence to anti-cancer activity and immune activation. So in this study, we confirmed the reduced side effect of chemotherapy effect. So King Agalex not, not only improve immunity against cancer, but also improvement in the quality, quality of life in cancer treatment. And then we also do the survey on veterinary doctors about the reduced side effects of chemotherapy. So we get the result from uh, 24. So more than nine, almost 80% uh, veterinary doctors who use King Agalix uh, during the chemotherapy satisfied. So in this uh, survey, uh, at that test, uh, we only used the 5 FU. But in this, uh, in this uh, survey, many doctors use several or many types of chemotherapy, anti-cancer drug. So King Agalix is uh, assumed to be useful for many, not only 5 fu uh, but also many types of uh, anti-cancer drug to reduce the side effect of these kind of uh, anti-cancer drug. So from here, so far I introduced the first session so here's Q and A. Let's move to Q and A. So first uh, question is, if there are any side effect for human? Uh, there are two cases, mushroom allergy and digest symptoms by rich dietary fiber. 
and it's all agarics really safe. Uh, yeah, uh, following type of agarics caused liver dif uh, dysfunction in the past. Uh, out, uh, other agarics was made in China and also extracted agarics product. Uh, but uh, King K21 has effectiveness of uh, liver protection against this uh, totally different from these kind of uh, products. King Agalex is manufactured, and also King Agalex is a high quality product manufactured in the GMP, GMP compliant, uh, compliance plant, like this. Uh, King Agalex product is uh, manufactured at the same level, same safety level, the same quality as human supplement, and manufactured at human GMP licensed plant in Japan, and actually sell as human supplement in the other country. And here is the liver protection uh, data. King Agalex uh, outdoor group had a strong uh, liver protection effect uh, caused by drug induced induced liver injury. So you don't need to worry about the liver injury, you know, liver dysfunction uh, like, uh, like caused by other type of Agalex product. And also the Q and A. So how about other animals? So uh, we do the test, uh, we have the data and other animal also, uh, so like horse, goat, pig, rabbit, dog, pig, uh, chicken. So other animals also have anti-beta glucan activity, uh, antibody. So it, might, uh, it assumes to be useful for the other type of animals, not only dogs and cats. And here is a reference. There is some product, Agalix product, uh, Agalix extraction products in the world. But uh, according to the essay here, so we cannot uh, extract full of beta glucan because beta glucan is con uh, the component of the cell wall. It's a very difficult to extract. So there is a there is a some or many uh, agarics extraction product, but the effect is getting weaker than normal agarics product. So according to uh, this essay, we do not use any extract from, uh, extract the beta glucan from the mushroom. We use uh, the whole dried mushroom as ingredients. Uh, so far I, uh, Let's move to the second session. Please wait a moment. <clears throat> so let's move to the second session. Second session is a quick recovery after injury. Oh, can I move to the second session? Hmm? Can I move to the second session? Is it okay? Yes, yes, of course, you can move on. Okay, so let's move to the second session. So second session is a quick recovery after injury and surgery. And also we, I want to, I'm gonna introduce about uh, improved fur condition. First, uh, I show, uh, I explained the uh, quick recover after surgery and injury. So this is a mice test model. So we gave the mice three types of feed control without agalix, uh, uh, indoor agalix, con uh, the feed contains indoor agalix and outdoor agalix group. Then after we change the feed, uh, uh, we shave the fur of the mice, the backside, and we put the, we remove the skin using the biopsy tool and get the scar. So and we check the size of wood measurement on the three days, six days, nine days, 12 days. And also we check the intervacuum alpha and collagen and TGF better. The result is here. After 12 days, the wound is here. Wound is here. Control, indoor, and outdoor. As you can see, the size of wound is very smaller than of the outdoor group. The size of uh, wound is very smaller than control and indoor. 
uh, also the, you can see the uh, here is the wound repair percentage. The black, uh, black one, square black one is the uh, King Agalix outdoor. But comparing with the control, there is a significant improvement, statistically improvement uh, for six days and 12 days on. So KA outdoor improved the wound healing. Also, we checked the, some type of collagen and interlaken one alpha. So please see the here, collagen type three. So after we get this uh, injury, so after taking King Agalix, uh, the skin, uh, the collagen type three, uh, the production of the collagen type three is increased after injury to re recover the wound. But uh, for here, interleukin one alpha is related to the inflammation. So it, there is no difference in the interleukin one alpha related to inflammation. So after the surgery, so uh, uh, when, when the dog and cats get a surgery and taking king agalix, so there's not so uh, related to the inflammation of the surgery, but uh, we get the quick recover after the surgery from the or injury. And then we get the good feedback from veterinary doctors after surgery. So number is 53. So we uh, we asked the doctors uh, to use the to use King Agalix after surgery uh, until remove the uh, stool. So uh, uh, about uh, uh, hmm? so after uh, when uh, we asked the doctor, better doctors, to give the dogs uh, for six days after surgery. Then uh, we get the uh, feedback from veterinary doctors uh, and more than satisfied is um, almost about 90%. It's, yeah, many doctors feel the improvement of the quick recovery effect uh, by surgery. So according to this data, we recommend to use the King Agalix for surgery, especially the wider area or injury. So next, uh, let's move to input of heart condition. Uh, here's the follows model. Uh, we, we use the three types of mice, gray hair, white hair, and black hair. And these mice, the, the age is from eight to 16 weeks old. So here is a hair cycle, grow period, regression period, and rest field. Hair cycle is a uh, circle like this. But uh, from uh, at the eight or from eight to 60 weeks old, uh, these mice uh, condition is uh, considered to be in rest period. So if we shave the hair at this, uh, in this rest period, the fur do not recover quickly. But we try to, uh, Remove, uh, move to rest to the growth period, you know, whether control or indoor and outdoor agalix take, taking a uh, game. I mean, we want to confirm outdoor and indoor agalix group can um, move to move from rest period to growth period. So here's a test model. So we, ch we change the food, uh, control indoor and outdoor. And after one week, we shave the hair and we can see, we evaluate whether we get the hair or not. Here's the result. Upper side is uh, control, uh, center is uh, indoor and the bottom one is outdoor. As you can see, outdoor uh, get the hair more than indoor and control. Also black and white mice, outdoor is also, uh, also outdoor group has strong hair, hair growth effect. 
uh, here's a result. Uh, this, and this shows the hair growth percentage, gray hair, black hair, and white hair, and control indoor, outdoor. So outdoor has strong hair growth effect, uh, stronger than indoor and control. So next is uh, we see the amount of hair growth. We also change the food and shape and we check the hair growth score like this. Strong, weak, mild, strong. Here's a hair growth score. We put uh, weak, strong like this. So at the, in the gray hair, the hair is very short. We can see the just uh, see out to a galax group get the hair. But the white, here's a white hair mice. So we can see the improvement uh, control and indoor and outdoor. Uh, uh, there is a statistically uh, difference between control, control and outdoor group. So we can see the hair gloss effect. Outdoor is stronger than indoor and control. Yeah, it's a black mice. Yeah, at uh, 13 days, uh, we we can we confirm the statistical improvement between agalix outdoor group and control group. So after we confirm the effect of uh, hair gloss effect in the mice test, we also do the human trial about the quality of life, including hair loss. So it's a human trial data, and we gave the people nine milligram a day or uh, 1.5 gram a day, um, six days, uh, six weeks and 12 weeks. And these improve the hair loss, gray hair, sensitive to the cold, fatigue, easy to wake up. Uh, we can see the, these kind of uh, symptoms, uh, improvement of the, these kind of uh, subjects. So we can see the improvement of the hair loss and improved gray hair. According to the gray hair, uh, this data uh, does not show the gray hair, the gray hair change to the black hair. Just this shows the amount of gray, uh, the brown hair feel the less gray hair after taking King of Galaxy. So here's a reference data. We have the hair glow supplement and contain, containing the King of Galaxy. Uh, here is a monitor test. Uh, female, 75 years old, before taking agalix, agalix supplement, uh, six months and after six months. As you can see, the improvement of the hair. And also, uh, herself or hairdresser uh, sees the improvement of the hair loss and the volume. Also, the reference as a reference uh, before taking agalix and after three months and six months. As you can see, the improvement of the hair condition. So the, let's move to the last part, other evidence and the summary. The, uh, from here, I want to introduce about the newest data related to the longevity or other data, including extend the average life, keep motor function, and improve the microbiome and the survey on senior dogs and cats. It's the newest data. First, is, uh, I want to introduce about the life extension effect. We do the test in the flies. Flies is, uh, many uh, flies is usually used as a animal model for the life extension because the lifespan is very short. So we, we gave the flies uh, indoor agalics or outdoor agalics and control groups. And here is the percentage of survival. And control group is black one, and black uh, blue one is a uh, house one, house uh, agalics, indoor agalics. As you can see the red, red uh, the survival rate of uh, red line outdoor is better than the black and white one, a uh, black and blue one. So uh, statistically, we can see the significant difference, uh, statistical difference about the uh, average life extension. 
uh, comparing with indoor and control. And here is also the uh, flight test. Uh, fly has a, a habit to climb up. So if uh, when the uh, flies uh, get old, they can uh, fly on the upper side. So we, we count the number of climbing. And the name is climbing assay. Here is a climb, uh, percentage of climbing. Just start to the seven days. Uh, here is control, indoor, and outdoor. The climbing, uh, the climbing uh, percentage of climbing is show the keep motor function against to the aging. From here, so seven days, 14 days, uh, 21, 28, 42 days. These days, uh, you can see, as, as we can see the uh, statistically improvement, uh, keep the motor level comparing with the control and indoor to, to, uh, to by taking Kinga Galix. Next is the improve the microbiome test. So we gave the mice uh, agalix or normal uh, food. Left side is control without agalix, and right side agalix group. After seven days and 20, 28 days, uh, some specific uh, microbiome is uh, increased. After we do analysis, uh, we show this one, uh, this uh, microbiome is Akamansia musinifida. So Akamansia musinifida is, um, uh, is very, now, nowadays uh, it gets uh, attention by uh, in anti-aging society. So centenarian, uh, centenarian is more than 100 years old people. Inside their centenarian intestine, there are many uh, Akamansia musifinida, uh, comparing with the short life people. Also, it calls uh, anti-obesity microbiome. Uh, people who is, um, they're, they're, uh, in, in, inside the body of the skinny people, I mean, not the obesity people, there is a many uh, Akamansia musifinida. But in obesity people, in, in the, their intestine, there's a few Akamansia musifinia. If we put the Akamansia musifinia to the obesity people, the body weight is reduced. So it, uh, Akamansia musifinia uh, is considered to be, considered to have the anti-obesity and anti-diabetes effect. Also, it shows, uh, it used, uh, it's considered to be useful for improving the efficacy of immune therapy, like uh, the new anti-cancer drug, uh, a new drug, immune, immune checkpoint inhibitors. And also here, uh, I want to introduce about anti-stress effect. So we use the hypertension rat. Hypertension rat, uh, their sympathetic nerve and, uh, sorry, their uh, sympathetic nerve and parasympathetic nerve, this balance is uh, disordered. So, uh, this uh, their autonomic nerve system is uh, disordered, and the hypertension rate is all the time they are excited. So the blood pressure is um, ex uh, the weak. we wanted to confirm the effect of uh, adjusting the autonomic nerve system and the uh, anti-stress model as anti-stress model. We want to try to check whether King Agalix can. Um, make the excited rat relax or not. The results here, red side is blood pressure. Blue one is a control group, hypertensive rat. And the red line is a uh, agalix group. The hypertensive rat, uh, the blood pressure is increasing, uh, increasing like this. But uh, uh, comparing with the uh, hypertensive rat uh, control group, agalix keep the blood pressure level low. On the right side is uh, heart rate, heartbeat. So the uh, hypertensive rat is all the time and they are very excited. So the heartbeat is very a lot. The blue point is here. And a galaxy group, uh, taking a galaxy group, the keep the heart rate uh, lower than 
hypotensive rot. So uh, a result of this data, uh, this, this data is uh, the anti-stress model. So we can see the uh, improvement of the heart rate and mean blood pressure. So taking King agarix is considered to be useful for stress, anti -stress uh, as anti-stress effect to adjusting the autonom autonom autonomic nervous system. So, so we so according uh, according to that data we uh, want to uh, we recommend to take these kind of uh, dogs and cats uh, so stress is related to these kind of symptoms um, leak fingers and skins by stress and less appetite and diarrhea and also problem behavior and bark, it related to stress. So king, taking King Alcalix is considered to be useful for these kind of symptoms caused by stress. Next is the newest data. So last night I I did analysis about this data, like this data. So we uh, we do the survey on senior dogs and cats, and the method is international clinical trial service and from September to December. So subject is senior dogs and cats, older than 12 years, which have some, some problem with general health, you know, less appetite and or less exercise and or poor, poor conditions. And total number is 164. But uh, by yesterday, we just get 15 data and we, uh, we get a survey, at, uh, we do the survey at 96 facilities at all, but we get just only 11 from the feedback from 11 facilities. And the uh, subject is uh, weight is five to six kilograms. The dosage is uh, one tablet a day and period is uh, two months. Uh, evaluation item is um, general health, exercise, food consumption, and for volume condition and skin condition. And also we use the 10 levels vision analog scale. So, and here is the uh, result. So one is, uh, the bigger number is better. So 10 is good, one is bad. So here's the result. So here general result health before and two, after two months appetite, skin condition, fat volume, fat growth, and exercise. Uh, we can see the improvement of the, these kind of symptoms, uh, these kind of uh, subjects. And statistical difference uh, we can see at the, on general health and appetite and skin condition and fat growth. I, I think uh, after we get more numbers, feedbacks, there is a including uh, we can see more statistical difference in the, this data. So according to this data, uh, we introduced uh, King Agarix is considered to be useful to improve general health of dogs and cats, not only senior dogs, uh, including general health, heart condition and appetite and exercise. And, uh, uh, we get some question about how you can see the improvement of their dogs and cats after taking King Agalix. The answer is here. Uh, you can see the improvement of uh, like this point after taking King Agalix. Uh, far condition is getting better after taking King Agalix and appetite is better. And exercise, uh, they started to do more exercise than before. So, Let's uh, move the final stage uh, summary. Who we recommend to take King Agarix? This is the last part. So, according to improve the effect of improved immunity and antifungal infection, we recommend to take uh, for cancer patient or uh, cancer patient who are under the chemotherapy or antifungal infection. Uh, malasechia uh, prevention and cure, also both uh, malasechia and dermatophytosis. 
And also, you can see the improve, improvement of the fur condition. So here are the pet, uh, we recommend to take our K21. Also, here is a uh, yeah, reduce the side effects of chemotherapy. We, good, uh, we get good feedback from vet, veterinary doctors. So we also recommend under, uh, taking King Agalix under chemotherapy to keep their uh, condition better. Also, after surgery or injury, as quick recover. And stress related symptoms, leg fingers and skin, less appetite, diarrhea, bug, and problem behavior related to stress disease and stress symptoms. And yeah, we can recommend uh, to improve the general health of dogs and cats, general health, heart condition, exercise, and appetite. So this is last slide. A king of galaxy will support your pet's QOL. Please ask your questions to provide more details about king of galaxy. Thank you for paying your attention.